Hey yo guys, I'm back to make a video. So today is going to be my St. Patrick's Day video. I asked you guys on my Instagram if you wanted to see a like normal me St. Patrick's Day makeup or if you wanted to see me do kind of more like a skull St. Patrick's Day makeup. And thankfully all of you guys support me in the way that I want to be supported and the skull makeup won by a landslide. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I said that it was gonna be a four leaf clover skull, but that was kind of a lie um, because four leaf clovers are. The idea that I originally had um, didn't end up working, so it's gonna be still St. Patrick's Day skull, it's just not gonna be a four leaf clover St. Patrick's Day skull. Hopefully that's okay. My face chart is right here, so it's just out of your guys' view, so you won't be able to see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for this makeup. Hopefully it goes really well, and let's get started. Starting off with the Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer, I just took this concealer and put it on the high points of my face as well as on my eyes just because I was going to be going over it with a little bit of face paint and for whatever reason in my brain I figured that the concealer would make it easier to blend out on those high points and then on my eyes as well and hopefully keep it from creasing. Whether it did that I'm not quite sure but that was my thought process behind it. Then I took the Ben Nye Professional Cream in Clown White and a dampened sponge. You could use a beauty blender as well. And I just started to dab the product into my skin. I find it better to pat the product in than to try and rub it because as soon as you start to rub, you will leave streaks and streaks do not make for good complexion. <laughs> and here I can be seen in my true white person form. <laughs> um, taking the Makeup Forever uh, Translucent Powder, I took this and just basically set my entire face with it. Um, anywhere that there was face paint, this powder touched. Starting with the eye makeup, I'm going to take the Cupcake and Monsters palette from Suva Beauty and the shade Clover Club, which is that beautiful green shade there. I'm going to pack that onto my lid and blend it out with a nice fluffy brush. Then taking the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette and that teal color in the corner, I'm going to pack that into my crease just to add a little bit of dimension. Then using Clover Club from Super Beauty again, I'm going to fill in my brow. Then taking my Urban Decay Electric palette, I took the colors in Freak and Thrash. I put Freak underneath my eye and blended it into the other colors, and then I took Thrash and put that in my inner corner. Then taking Green Machine and Magic Dragon from Lit Cosmetics as well as their glitter adhesive, I applied both these glitters mixed together to my lid. Moving on to the more theatrical part of this makeup, I took Clover Club again and started to draw a three-leaf clover over my eye. Um, three-leaf clothes are basically just hearts, <laughs> so that's what you see me drawing right now. Using all the glitters that you guys are about to be shown and the Lit Cosmetics Adhesive again, I filled in the clover just like I filled it in with the eyeshadow there. The star-shaped glitters are from a brand called Star Crush Minerals and the circle ones are from a brand called Super Glitters. Um, in case anyone was wondering. Using Clover Club again, I'm going to take that and run that underneath my eye. I then used this Super Beauty Hydro Liner in the color Space Panda to do my lashes. Using Clover Club again, I did my contour right at my hairline. Uh, I later go over this with Fanny Pack from Super Beauty as well. Then using Clover Club again, uh, I drew in the mouth and I drew in also the parts of the jaw. Then taking this green from Krylon in number 96 and Fanny Pack from Suva Beauty, I started to draw in these little clovers in the gaps of the jaw. So basically I just filled it with some clovers and then I filled in any empty gaps with the darker green. 
taking Space Panda again, I started to draw in the teeth. Um, I seem to, to prefer the skull teeth that come up to a point at the end, so that's what I'm doing here. Um, and I usually try to line my skull teeth up with my real teeth, so if you see my lip bulge out at any point, that's actually my tongue um, feeling where my tooth is, so I can try and sit in the right spot. Then, going back with the Krylon Green, I started to fill in between the teeth. I only filled about a quarter of the way up the gaps because I'm going to put more fanny pack there and blend the two colors together. Then using the Krylon Green again, I gave myself a nice little skull nose. I used Dance Party from Suda Beauty to highlight my collarbones. I basically put a whole bunch of the color on them and then I used my finger to blend it out. Here I'm using Fanny Pack from Suda Beauty and I'm basically putting it just below the yellow. Um, I'm going to go back in with Snow Queen from Suda Beauty as well and start blending those colors together. And then I will add Aztec at the very end um, from Super Beauty as well. It'll look identical to the opposite side, um, just with cold colors. On the opposite side, there's also Acid Trip from Super Beauty and a red Krylon color. I found the best way to kind of blend these paints together was just to kind of use a combination of a brush and my fingers. Uh, I would also wet my fingers a little bit just because these are water activated paints, so I find the water helps to blend the colors a little bit. This is the finished look you guys, I hope you did enjoy, um, if you did please give this video a thumbs up, all the links to my social media will be in the description if you want to follow me on anything else, I have pretty much everything, uh, if there's any specific looks you guys would like to see from me, please leave them in the description and I will always take them into consideration, um, but yeah, I think that's about it, I will see you guys in my next video, bye!